Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will learn that how we can do the anomaly detection in Microsoft Power BI. So recently in the Power BI monthly updates for the month of November 2020, Microsoft has added this awesome feature that is called anomaly detection uh, for the Power BI dashboard. So let's have a quick uh, uh, summary of that feature so this is this feature is available in in power bi november 2020 and uh, once you download the power bi desktop version uh, install that version and make sure that you enable that uh, anomaly detection in your power bi interface and uh, let me let me just give you a quick uh, demonstration for this preview uh, which is a part of analytics so anomaly detection helps you to enhance your line charts automatically by detecting the anomalies in your time series data and it's it's basically explains the anomalies to help with the root cause analysis so if you are clear with the concepts uh, what you need to do is after installing the power bi november 2020 version uh, you have to click on file go to option and settings and then uh, click on the preview features where you need to check mark this option that is called anomaly detection and after doing that uh, this feature will be enabled once you create the uh, line chart and in this depict the time series so you want to uh, see that how you can find the anomalies uh, in, in your data set so let's get towards the demonstration part I have open one blank uh, power bi file and uh, what we will do we will try a sample data set so I will click on this try a sample data set and uh, let's just get a quick uh, sample data so I will click on load sample data and it's giving me a financial sample so I will select this financial table where we have all different kind of columns available and it pertains to a financial data so I will click quickly click on load button so that the data should be loaded in Power BI and in next few seconds when the data is loaded we will create a line chart and then we will uh, see that how we can add the anomaly on our time series data so it will take few more seconds to load the data and once it will be loaded you can see all the fields here in the fields pane I'll quickly create a line chart and for that i will pick the two fields from uh, from my this data set of financials so i will drag the date and uh, then i will drag the sales into this object and i will say convert into a table so that i can check the dates format and i will transform this as uh, instead of date hierarchy i will select the date all right so now i will transform this table into a line chart so i will quickly create a line chart by simply click on the line button on the visualizations tab let me just make it a more big bigger so that this should be visible and clear all right so now we have a line chart here and we need to add the anomaly detection on our this particular visual so i will click on analytics button that is a kind of magnifier small icon when you click on it and you will go down scroll down and you will find this option enable that is called find anomalies so expand it and then now you are required to uh, click on the add button and apply the sensitivity percentage so you can apply 70 percent or 80 percent or 87 percent whatever you like how you would find the anomaly sensitivity in your data set so by default it's 70 percent and then you have a field of explain by so you can select any of the field you want to have that explained by or you can leave it as a blank then you have the anomaly shape how that anomaly would be uh shown on your line chart uh, as a circle or any other kind of shape and its size as well so you can increase and decrease the si size and as well as the color of that right so you have a multiple options regarding formatting and the percentage you set for the anomalies and now you can see that there is one anomaly has been detected with respect to the sales so if for example if you increase the percentage here for example 85 percent and when you click on apply so now you can see that there are two points uh, there are two points have been detected 
as an anomaly detection right so this is very easy now uh, you can do in in power bi with the time series data so i hope you like this video and you will applying this feature after downloading the november 2020 setup desktop version and make sure that you enable this option of finding anomalies by going to the file tab click on options and settings and then preview features and make sure that you check mark on the anomaly detections okay thank you so much